Hey, welcome back for another delight. And today is going to just be a really nice, slow, stretchy, juicy flow. So with that said, I'm gonna have you start laying down on your belly. This is one of my favorite places to start. So just laying all the way down, palms down by your side, facing up, your favorite ear flat to the floor. And just let the full weight of your body completely relax. Feel your heartbeat against the floor. Feel your inhale lift you off of the ground, off your mat. And your exhale, let it take you deeper. Just falling into the ground. Full inhales, complete exhales. Switch ears, right ear down. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Keeping, uh, let's take the right ear down to the floor if it's not already there. Reach your right arm out beside you. Straight line right out to the right. Left hand comes underneath your shoulder. You're going to roll open for a little shoulder stretch. Make sure no weird angles. All right, right straight line out from the shoulder. Opening up. Use your inhale. Open up your front body, inflate your chest. Exhale, slide the shoulder blades closer together. And just keeping in mind that your shoulder, uh, your shoulders are super delicate. So unlike, you know, you don't want to get or look for the sensation as deep as you do when we're stretching our hips. Just enough. And then switch. Come back into center. Left arm out, right hand under the shoulder. We roll open. If you have a block, you can slide underneath your head and just let your head relax. I'm keeping mine lifted today. Inhale to expand your chest up. Exhale to slide your shoulder blades closer together. Now this right hand can stay here. It could come up or you drop it back behind you. Whichever is best for you. Good. Slowly come back into center. Bring both hands underneath your shoulders. And as you inhale, we, like, we lift up just a little. We lift. Good, Cobra. Exhale, drop your head back. Bend the elbows, so it release. A few more times. So you're pressing into your hands. Let your head stay heavy. So your head, your eyes will be the last thing to lift. And as you exhale, your head will be the last thing to drop. Two more. Inhale to round and ripple up. You can always take your hands a little wider. As you exhale, pull the heel of your hand back towards your hips so you can really slingshot your heart forward. The slower you move, the better. One more. Inhale to round and ripple up. Exhale, release. Press your way up onto your forearms. My favorite twist of all time. Slide your right leg up beside you. Don't, you don't need to be aggressive with it. You just want to make sure it's in line with your hip. Okay? 90 degrees. Press up onto your hands. Hold here. Three. Some of you might feel this. Some of you might not feel this. That's okay. Two. If you're really tight on, like in your inner legs, you might feel this down the inside of your right. Left arm under. Rolling your chest open to the sky. So two ways to do this. Both hip bones facing the floor. More intense. Rolling over. Right hip on top of left. Less intense. So you choose what works best for you. Maybe hand to tailbone or to the rib cage. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Every inhale we get longer. Every exhale you twist and bring in. Unravel. And switch. Left leg comes up. Press up and hold. Three. Two. Weave it under, roll it open. Oh, sometimes when you're lucky, you might get a couple adjustments. Think about lengthening the left side of your torso. Keep it long. Try to keep both sides equal. Inhale to get long. Exhale, deepen the twist. Continue to roll, actually. No, we're coming back through center. 
Pull that right arm out underneath you. Both hands come back underneath your shoulders. Again, we lift up. Cobra. Holding here this time. Pull the heel of the hand back towards your hips. Turn your elbows into you. So I never want to see this happening here, okay? So if this is happening, you're wearing your shoulders as earrings. I want you to come back down to the floor. Press the heel of the hand back. Press your elbows back so your shoulders are already down and away. And then you just lift to where you can hold that and maintain those shoulders down your back. You work on this in time, but if you start here, guess what happens when you go to your up dog? Wrap those shoulder blades around the spine, practice it here, build that strength. Slowly release. Nice work. Press through tabletop. We're stretching. Child's pose. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Walk it over to the right left side torso stretch so more than a bend it's a reach create as much space as you can between your left middle finger your left hip bone hands stay glued on the floor and even pull your rib cage towards the left side switch walk it over Come back into center, round and curl. Inhale, let your belly drop down, your shoulder blades squeeze. Lift your eyes and your chest. You can take a little rock side to side. Think about reaching your lower ribs away from your hip bones, stretching that belly. Exhale, press away, round and curl. Tailbone and chin under, spine high, belly hollow. Let's come back to neutral. Kick the left leg back, reach your right hand forward. Three times as you inhale, your heel and your thumb go up as high as you can get them. 